Hi folks, this is your MWIST Fleeting View in association with Petzl. In the short term, high pressure is still nearby, so quiet weather conditions continue with some variations day to day on the extent of cloud. A bit windier typically further north in the highlands, becoming gale force by the end of the week. Then a transition into something much colder and a very wintry prospect onwards into next week. More on that in a moment. First of all, the charts for the next couple of days and high pressure nearby on Wednesday keeps things generally dry. A weak front, though, drifting in from the north, just producing fairly extensive low cloud across western parts of Scotland, maybe central areas as well in the morning. Bits of drizzle locally in amongst that, but not amounting to a great deal. Some brighter conditions emerging across the north and then the northeast of the highlands as that front tends to slip southward. Some sunshine breaking through. A few high tops may poke through above or between cloud layers for a time at least. Low cloud will tend to drift southwards into North England and North Wales too during the daytime, may drift onto some of the higher slopes for a while, bit of fog around in some of the valleys as well first thing in the morning. Fairly breezy across northern Scotland, quite blustery in northern spots, areas further south seeing lighter winds, England and Wales in particular just light to moderate breezes. That weak frontal zone will still be around on Thursday, not really doing much apart from just giving areas of cloud, and that will shroud western mountains in Scotland fairly persistently to quite low elevations, some spots of drizzle just near to the coast. Higher cloud bases further east across the highlands, some good breaks around in places. England and Wales will see variable low cloud and fog in the morning. That will tend to thin and break. Wales could be a bit slow with that process but some sunshine coming through across North England. Light winds for many, but again, Northern Scotland staying on the breezier side. Stronger winds for all looking likely on Friday as high pressure slips southwards and westerlies strengthen, a cold front approaching from the north at this stage still further away. So temperatures are still fairly mild during Friday, but will feel colder in exposure to those strong winds, which will reach gale force across higher Scottish mountains, maybe over 50 or 60 miles per hour in more northern areas, becoming blustery too for England and Wales. Low cloud, fairly extensive across western Windward Mountains, but higher cloud bases further toward the east. Some rain coming on across western Scottish mountains as well at times. That cold front will slip southwards into the weekend, introducing some chillier air and dropping to freezing point then on the higher mountains in Scotland, just below zero across the higher Munros. So some showers that come in frequently from the west will fall as some snow, even some hail mixed in with those at times. Temperatures feeling cooler as well across England and Wales, a spell of rain slipping south and then some brighter skies, variable cloud and some sun. And a windy day again though for most places, so a significant chill factor were exposed on higher terrain. Some uncertainty with the exact detail by Sunday, but it's very likely to be cold with temperatures below freezing point across the Scottish mountains widely and near or just below freezing on the highest tops in England and Wales as well. Wind speeds somewhat uncertain, look less strong compared to Friday and Saturday, but still a significant chill factor across higher terrain. Showers that feed in from the north and northwest will fall as snow quite widely across the hills and mountains. How extensive those become at this stage is uncertain, so keep an eye on those forecasts. The outlook into early next week does maintain this cold pattern. We have low pressure quite nearby and the general airflow coming around to us from the north or the northwest, the air circulating around from Scandinavia and the Arctic. So several days of sub-zero conditions across the mountains at least, and it could well be that the week as a whole is cold and distinctly wintry with some snowfalls to quite low elevations at times. So a real taste of early winter setting in as we go into the new week. We'll keep you up to date with all those developments. For now, that is your fleeting view in association with Petzl. Thanks for watching.